And welcome to the derivative as the instantaneous rate of change. Um, so just recall in uh, uh, section 2.1, we did talk about the derivative as the instantaneous range, rate of change. So um, f of uh, x plus h minus f of x all over h right, is an average rate of change. Whoa. And so then if we take the limit, right, f prime of x is the limit as h goes to zero, and f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Um, this is essentially as we let the time get closer and closer and closer together or whatever x uh, units are, as we let those get closer and closer and closer together, it basically gets on um, how, what the rate of change is at that precise moment of time. So let's go ahead and just give ourselves some context. Uh, in section 2.1, we looked at um, motion problems, but we can certainly talk about rates of change in other contexts as well. So let's go ahead and suppose that the population of the planet Mathtopia is given by the function P of T, where T is the number of days since the planet was discovered. So it is known that P of zero is equal to 2,534,122, and that P prime of zero is equal to 21. So the first thing I wanna know is just what do we know based off of this about the population? So P of zero equaling 2,534,000, 122 is giving us essentially the population zero days after discovery. Right? So this is the population Oops. the population of Mathtopia. zero days after discovery. Or in other words, on the day of discovery. Because right? we know P of zero, we're looking at uh, the population of the planet Mathtopia, T days since the population or the planet was discovered. So then the question becomes, what is P prime of zero telling us? Let me give myself some more room, sorry about that. So P prime, of t just in general is the rate of change of the population and again slope comes essentially as change in y over change in x right so we're looking at change in y over change in x so we should have the y units up top over the x units. So we're looking at the y units over x units.
Um, and so in this case, we are looking at the change in population, right? The way that the population or number of people Um, change per day. Um, and then at T, it's on T, day T after discovery. So if we have P prime of zero, equaling 21, then what we're saying is essentially that the population is increasing by 21 people. I don't know who lives on Mathtopia, um, by 21 residents, <laughs> right? So the population is increasing at a rate of 21 per day on the day of discovery. So we know the rate at which the population is increasing, at least on the day of discovery, and we know that baseline population. Using those, we can approximate um, what the population would be a year in the future, um, assuming that the rate stayed constant, right? So what we will do is we will uh, assume the population continues to increase at 21 people or individuals, whatever they are, per day. Right? And then this is for one full year. So for a year, or in other words, for 365 days, we're going to assume that we are talking about Earth years, not necessarily Naptopia years. And then we also have the population started at, what was it? Two million five hundred thirty-four thousand one hundred twenty-two. So what we'll have is the population after three hundred sixty-five days should be approximately. Well, we start off at that two million five hundred thirty-four thousand one hundred twenty-two, and then we will add on. We go up by twenty-one every day. For 365 days. So should, we should add on 21 times 365. Um, note, this is the same as doing P of zero plus P prime of zero times uh, T minus zero, or in this case, 365 minus zero. So this is the equation for our line, uh, for our tangent line. Uh, so if we do this, then we wind up getting oops, we wind up getting 
uh, 2,541,787. So we would predict the population would be Two million five hundred forty one thousand seven hundred eighty seven one year after discovery. Now, again, this was making, making a large assumption that that derivative stayed constant for the whole year, but this should give us a reasonable approximation. So, this is um, interpreting the derivative as the instantaneous rate of change and taking advantage of that to make approximations going 